Melvin Ellis Calvin April 8, 1911, to January 8, 1997, was an American biochemist most famed for discovering the Calvin cycle along with Andrew Benson and James Basham, for which he was awarded the 1961 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. He spent most of his five-decade career at the University of California, Berkeley. Life Calvin was born in St. Paul, Minnesota, the son of Elias Calvin and Rose Hurwitz, immigrants from the Russian Empire. As a small child, Calvin's family moved to Detroit. He graduated from Central High School in 1928. Melvin Calvin earned his Bachelor of Science from the Michigan College of Mining and Technology, now known as Michigan Technological University, in 1931, and his Ph.D. in Chemistry from the University of Minnesota in 1935. He then spent the next four years doing postdoctoral work at the University of Manchester. He married Marie Genevieve Gemtigard in 1942, and they had three children, two daughters and a son. Calvin joined the faculty at the University of California, Berkeley, in 1937 and was promoted to Professor of Chemistry in 1947. Using the carbon-14 isotope as a tracer, Calvin, Andrew Benson and James Basham mapped the complete route that carbon travels through a plant during photosynthesis, starting from its absorption as atmospheric carbon dioxide to its conversion into carbohydrates and other organic compounds. In doing so, Calvin, Benson and Basham showed that sunlight acts on the chlorophyll in a plant to fuel the manufacturing of organic compounds, rather than on carbon dioxide as was previously believed. Calvin was the sole recipient of the 1961 Nobel Prize for Chemistry for what is sometimes known as the Calvin-Benson-Basham cycle. Calvin wrote an autobiography three decades later titled Following the Trail of Light, A Scientific Odyssey. During the 1950s he was among the first members of the Society for General Systems Research. In 1963 he was given the additional title of Professor of Molecular Biology. He was founder and director of the Laboratory of Chemical Biodynamics and simultaneously associate director of Berkeley Radiation Laboratory, where he conducted much of his research until his retirement in 1980. In his final years of active research, he studied the use of oil-producing plants as renewable sources of energy. He also spent many years testing the chemical evolution of life and wrote a book on the subject that was published in 1969. Topic. Controversy In his 2011 television history of botany for the BBC, Timothy Walker, director of the University of Oxford Botanic Garden, criticized Calvin's treatment of Andrew Benson, claiming that Calvin had got the credit for Benson's work after firing him, and had failed to mention Benson's role when writing his autobiography decades later. Benson himself has also mentioned being fired by Calvin, and has complained about not being mentioned in his autobiography. Topic. Honors and legacy Calvin was elected a foreign member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1958. In 1959, he was elected a member of the German Academy of Sciences Leopoldina. Calvin was featured on the 2011 volume of the American Scientist's Collection of U.S. Postage Stamps, along with Asa Gray, Maria Gopert Mayer, and Severo Ochoa. This was the third volume in the series, the first two having been released in 2005 and 2008. Topic: <laughs> Publications. Topic. See also List of Jewish Nobel laureates Topic. References Topic. External links Nobel speech and biographmems slash mccalvin.html tribute by Glenn Seaborg and Andrew Benson Research on the carbon dioxide assimilation in plants at the Wayback Machine archived February 22, 2007. Biographical memoir by Glenn Seaborg and Andrew Benson U.S. Patent 4,427,511 Melvin Calvin – Photo-induced electron transfer method Encyclopedia Britannica article USPS News Release, celebrating American Scientists' press release for the new Forever Stamp designs featuring Melvin Calvin. 
National Academy of Sciences Biographical Memoir. <laughs>